Welcome to Structures with Steve. Today we'll be looking at the Kunsthaus Bergens, a museum in Vienna, Austria. A quick look on the interior, everything looks fairly normal, but a closer look reveals that the exterior walls don't extend to the ceiling. This is problematic because that's how a building resists forces on the exterior, such as wind, earthquake, etc. I have displayed this problem with two quick models made of chipboard, one with a top and one without. When tested, we notice that the one with the top is very rigid. Even when pushed on, it does not deform. The other, however, even with little force, warps quite a bit, and we even notice the corner starts to crack. To see the solution, we will look at the plan for the museum. We notice three thick interior walls. Here, here, and here. I have imitated this in my model by cutting slots here, here, and here. Now when I push on it, it is just as rigid as the one with the top, but why? Let's go back to the plan. Imagine a force like wind pushes on this bottom wall. We know from Newton that an object at rest will stay at rest and an object in motion will stay in motion, and for every action there is an equal but opposite reaction. Therefore, the parallel wall to the force will resist the force as shown. However, there is an inherent problem. The resistance is uneven, and that will make the building want to rotate, as shown. The two other walls will resist this by forming a coupling moment. A coupling moment is two parallel walls acting on a surface in opposite directions to resist rotational movement. This creates a force equal but opposite to the rotational force in the floor plate. So the final force diagram would look like this with the parallel wall resisting the force directly and a moment reaction stopping any torque.